Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. And the same storm system that's affecting us this morning is what spawned that big tornado in Alabama wow. yesterday. So we're on the wintry side of things, but of course it's causing many problems even uh, well to the south. Yeah. Tough driving this morning too. You see yeah. the ice in the parking lot? Yeah, I did. Also, just leaving my house, I noticed I was skidding just a little bit and I was like, it's just raining, but yeah, I saw some fog this morning. Yeah, yeah. so I think the message here is it's a difficult morning commute, even on Storm Tracker where you see the green where the rain is. You could still find a couple slick spots. And of course, most of the issues this morning are in northern New York, where the flip to snow is well underway. It's actually been snowing for several hours now near Messina and along parts of Route 11 in northern Franklin County. But off to the south, far southern Vermont, not doing too much right now in Wyndham County and parts of Bennington County. You can see the rain is starting to shift to the north, but still pouring this morning in Rutland. You can see a couple of pink spots showing up that indicates the potential for sleet or freezing rain. Finding a little bit of that along the spine of the Green Mountains and in parts of Grafton County. Also within the Northeast Kingdom where it snowed for a while overnight, but you can see it has now gone over to rain. We're keeping a very close eye on the rain snow line, which you can see is just starting to pass through Champlain on its way to Rouse's Point. And also Alberg, Vermont Route 78 could be looking a little tough later today, but right now looks mostly wet and just raindrops falling, at least on that part of the road. This is northern New York. You can clearly see it's switching to snow and the snow line is drifting to the south. So not too much longer from now, we'll see a lot more snow in Saranac Lake and Tupper Lake. Still just raining in Elizabethtown now, but I would expect conditions to deteriorate as we go through the morning. Why is it going to switch to snow? Well, look at all the cold air upstream and the back edge of the storm is a lot colder than what we're dealing with now. So even if you're seeing rain at this hour, temperatures will slowly fall below 32 degrees and that'll facilitate the switch to snow as we go later into the morning. So rain for a couple more hours, mid to late morning. Most of us are seeing snow as the northwest wind picks up. It'll send us into the 20s by the evening, and you can see the snow line crosses Lake Champlain right around 8, 9 o'clock. I think the snow is mostly limited to northwestern Vermont and most of the north country. Everything just sort of breaks up in southern Vermont and New Hampshire, and the snow will linger into Friday evening before it slowly goes away on Saturday. Saturday looks like a cloudy day. It will be cold, highs only in the 20s with a lingering mountain snow shower and then on Sunday the clouds leave us and we're left with a bluebird day but it doesn't get much warmer highs are still in the 20s it's also the case on Monday but that also looks like a good day at least for any outdoor plans and then as we look towards next week it's warmer again many days in the 30s with a few more days of unsettled weather as well Sarah Beth all right then